Sound of is an annual BBC poll of music critics and industry figures to find the most promising new music talent. It was first conducted by the BBC News website in 2003, and is now widely covered by the corporations online, radio and TV outlets, as well as other media. A 15-strong long list is published each December, with a ranked shortlist and annual winner announced the following January. Winners equals 2003 a euro 09 equals equals 2010 a euro 16 equals notes sound of 2009 more than 130 critics editors and broadcasters took part in the sound of 2009 survey which was won by electro pop singer little boots for the first time a long list of 15 acts from the 2009 poll was published by the bbc on december 5 2008 the other five acts on the long list were The Big Pink, Frank Music, Master Shorty, Mumford & Sons and The Temper Trap. Sound of 2010 The long list for the Sound of 2010 poll was revealed on December 7, 2009. The acts nominated were Daisy Dares You, Delphic, Devlin, The Drums, Everything Everything, Gigs, Gold Panda, Ellie Goulding, Hertz, Joy Orbson, Marina and the Diamonds, Owl City, Rocks, Stornoway and Two Door Cinema Club. On January 8, 2010, Ellie Goulding was announced as the winner. She has since gone to reach number one with her debut album Lights. Sound of 2011, the long list for the Sound of 2011 poll was revealed on December 6, 2010. The acts nominated were Anna Carvey, Claire Maguire, Daly, Espen and the Witch, G. Paul, James Blake, Jamie Woon, Jesse J., Mona, Nero, the Naked and Famous, The Vaccines, War Paint, Wretch 32 and Yuck. On January 7, 2011, Jesse J was announced as the winner. Sound of 2012 The long list for the Sound of 2012 poll was revealed on December 5, 2011. The acts nominated were ASAP Rocky, Azealia Banks, Dot Rotten, Dry the River, Flux Pavilion, Frank Ocean, Friends, Jamie and Commons, Leon La Havers, Michael Kiwanuka, Nki and the Dove, Ren Harview, Skrillex, Spectre and Stush. On January 6, 2012, Michael Kiwanuka was announced as the winner. Sound of 2013 The long list for the Sound of 2013 poll was revealed on December 9, 2012. The acts nominated were Alana George, AME, Angel Hayes, Alisa, CHVSCHES, Haim, King Cruel, Codelin, Laura MVULA, Little Green Cars, Palmer Violets, Peace, Savages, The WEEKND and Tom O'Dell. On January 4, 2013, him were announced as the winners on Radio 1 by Hugh Stevens. Sound of 2014, the long list for the Sound of 2014 poll was revealed on December 2, 2013. The acts nominated were Banks, Chance the Rapper, Club Paragraph E. Howell, Elier, George Ezra, FKA Twigs, Jungle, Kellala, Luke Seitel Singh, MNEK, Nick Mulvey, Royal Blood, Sam Smith, Sampa and Say Lulu. On January 10, 2014, Sam Smith was announced as the winner on Radio 1 by Nick Grimshaw. Sound of 2015 The long list for the Sound of 2015 poll was revealed on December 1, 2014. The acts nominated were George the Poet, James Bay, Quabs, La Yen Psley, Novelist, Ray Morris, Ranery, Shamir, Shura, Slaves, Soak, Stormzy, Sunset Sons, Wolf Alice and Years and Years. On January 9, 2015, Years and Years were announced as the winners on Radio 1 by Hugh Stevens. Sound of 2016, the long list for the Sound of 2016 poll was revealed on November 30, 2015. The acts nominated were Alesha Cara, Billy Martin, Blossoms, Dua Lipa, Francis, Izzy Baizu, Jack Garrett, Jay Huss, Loyal Kanua, Mabel, Mura Maza, NAO, Rat Boy, Section Boys and WSTRN. Criticism, it has been commented upon that the sound of survey, together with other polls, creates a self-fulfilling prophecy. Guardian critic Kitty Empire wrote in December 2007, Many of us are editors commissioning, and journalists writing, our own ones to watch forecasts. 
in order not to look like idiots, we tend to tip acts with records coming out rather than some lad with a tin whistle we found on MySpace. The same issue was again raised in 2011, upon the publication of the long list for The Sound of 2012. The Telegraph's Joe Burgess wrote The Sound of 2012 project faces criticism that it is too heavily weighted in favor of mainstream performers. The head of music at BBC Radio 1 and one extra response to the question was the list will inspire debate for sure, but most importantly, it will lead to discovery of artists and musicians trying to stand out from the ever-expanding crowd, and that can only be a good thing. References External links Sound of 2015 at BBC Online